find the general solution of the following equations. Give your answer in radians. 2 cot x minus tan x plus cosec x is equal to sec x, sec x times cosec x. So uh, one of uh, the best ways I would say is to change everything into sine and cos. Okay, so let's change uh, everything in sine and cos. So you should note cot is a reciprocal of tan and tan is sine over cos. So cot is cos over sine. So this becomes 2 uh, cos x over sine x minus sine x over cos x and just changing into sine and cos and see what happens. Cosec is a reciprocal of sine, so this is plus 1 over sine x. Okay, is equal to cosec is a reciprocal of cos, so this is 1 over cos x times 1 over sine x. So now I want to make the denominators equal. So on the left hand side, I want to make this sine x times cos x because here, if you look at the right hand side, the denominator is sine x times cos x. So if I want to make sine x times cos x, I have to multiply this by cos x. So this becomes 2 cos squared x uh, over sine x cos x. So let me write this step times sine x cos x. So what I've done is I multiplied both the numerator and denominator by cos x. Here I should multiply by sine. So this is sine squared x over sine x cos x. And here I should multiply by cos. So this is cos x over sine x cos x. So and this is equal to 1 times 1 is 1, 1 over sine x cos x, sine x times cos x. So this is your sum, this is sine x. This is sine of x. Okay, now what can we do? Now here on the left hand side, the denominators are equal, so you can add the numerators or uh, subtract the numerator. So this is 2 cos squared x minus sine squared x over cos, sorry, plus cos x over sine x cos x over sine x over sine x cos x is equal to 1 over sine x times cos x. I'm going, you can pause this video at any time and try to do the next step yourself. So I can, I'm going to multiply both sides by sine x cos x or cross multiplying this to the other side. So this becomes 2 cos squared x, I'm not changing the numerator here, minus sine squared x plus cos x is equal to 1. I hope you understand. I am multiplying both sides by sine x cos x. So now I'm looking at the left hand side and I can see this is cos squared x, this is cos x. So I'm thinking whether I can change this into a uh, cos squared form. Okay, so what can we do? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this into uh, you should know sine squared plus cos squared, so let me write the identity. Sine squared x plus cos squared x. Sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. Okay, so I'm going to use this identity here, so what can I do? So this will become 2 cos squared x uh, minus, um, this can be written, sine squared can be written as 1 minus cos squared x, 1 minus cos squared x, I put this in the bracket, plus cos x is equal to 1. Okay, so expanding this, so this is cos squared, 2 cos squared x, minus 1 plus cos squared x, plus cos x is equal to 1. Okay, so now, 
So this is 2 cos squared x plus cos squared x is 3 cos squared x, 3 cos squared x plus cos x. And then I'm going to take away 1 from both sides. So it's minus 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So this is 3 cos squared x plus cos x minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay. Now from this step, it if you can see this is nothing but a quadratic equation so i'm going to say let m is equal to cos x okay let m is equal to cos x this implies this becomes 3m squared plus m minus 2 is equal to 0. so now i'm going to write this uh, this step is called splitting of middle term 3m squared plus 3m minus 2m minus 2. Now, how did I write this step? This is basically I multiplied 3 times 2 is 6, and the coefficients of negative 6, which gives you negative 1. Where did I get the negative? Sorry, plus 1. This is your plus 1 here. So, first step is multiply this and this. That is, this is 3 times negative 2. So we're multiplying the coefficient of x squared, the leading coefficient, and the constant. That is 3 times negative 2. That is this number. And then you have to look at the coefficient of m. And uh, the coefficient of m is 1 here. So you need to find two factors of 6, negative 6, which gives you negative, sorry, plus 1, which is plus 3, minus 2, just like that. And this is nothing if you look. Uh, properly you can see 3m take away 2m is 1m now you have to factorize by grouping now the next step is called factorizing factorizing by grouping so this is you can factor out a 3m and here you have m plus 1 and here you can factor out a negative 2 or minus 2 you get m plus 1 is equal to 0 okay so this becomes, now you can write this as nothing but m plus 1 times 3m minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, so now setting both of them equal to 0, so this is m is equal to negative 1 or m is 3m minus 2 is equal to 0, so m is equal to 2 thirds. So m is equal to negative 1 or m is equal to 2 thirds. So this means, so let me change color. So therefore this implies cos of x or cos x is equal to negative 1. Okay, or cos x or cos of x is 2 thirds. Now we want to write the general formula, the general solution. So I hope you know the general solution. If cos cos x is equal to cos is equal to say cos theta if cos x is equal to cos theta this implies this implies x is equal to 2n 2n pi 2n pi plus theta that's the answer 2n uh, 2n pi plus theta Okay, so yeah, so cos 180 is negative 1, okay, cos 180 is negative 1, so let me show that on calculator, uh, cos pi is negative 1, so this is set in radians, so hopefully, let us check, it's in radians, so if you press cos, or you can also do like this, cos, okay, so let me do that, cos pi is negative 1, okay, so I can say cos negative 1 can be written as cos pi, okay, so this is, this. so you can say cos x, therefore cos x I'm writing from this step to this step, okay, so cos x is equal to cos pi, you want to write the answer in pi, and using this formula, this implies x is equal to 2n pi, 2n pi plus pi. 
because we're using this formula. Now for this branch, you'll have to find what is cos inverse of. So let's find cos inverse of two thirds. That will give you the theta. So where's my calculator? So this is my calculator. So I go shift cos bracket two divided by three. Okay, that is 0 0.84. So I'll, I can write this as therefore I can say cos x is equal to cos of 0 0.84 radians. So in general form you can say this implies x is equal to 2 n pi 2 n pi plus 0 0.84. And these are the two solutions or general solution for this uh, trig equation.